So when searching for gaming headsets on Amazon, there's a bestseller, the Version Tech G2000, and there's a bestseller, the Onikuma gaming headset K5. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and put these up against each other and see which one's better. So in this video, I'm gonna go over which sounds better, which one is more comfortable when playing games for a long period, and we're also gonna do a mic test on each one to try to figure out which one is best. I'll leave a link in the description below for each of these with current pricing and more information. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of each and see what we've got. Now, even though I ordered the Version Tech G2000, for some reason this says Koshin each. So I'm not sure if they send different versions of this or if that's what the new name is. So on the box, it just says there's a gold plated 3.5 millimeter four pin plug and it's compatible with laptop, PC, mobile, and tablet. Now in the description, it also says that it's surround sound over the ear headphones with noise canceling mic, LED lights, volume control for laptop, Mac, iPad, Nintendo Switch games. Now this is the blue version. There's also a camo and orange. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so even though this says Koshin each, real small on the sticker, it does say version tag. So it comes with the user guide. That's pretty simple. And is basically just a bunch of different languages. Okay, I gotta say for a little more than 20 bucks, this is definitely higher quality than I was expecting. They don't really twist or rotate, and this super shiny plastic does look a little bit cheaper, but I do like this soft material. It's almost like it's in between fabric and the fake leather. Here's what's nice about the mic, is each spot you move it is a notch, and it sort of locks it in place. I kind of like that instead of just having one or two, like on the Turtle Beach ones I reviewed earlier. Your audio cable is fixed, you can't remove it, but that's sort of expected for this price range. On your inline controls, it's got your volume wheel, and you've got a little slider button for when you're muting the mic. So that's nice. It does sort of feel like a cheap plastic, but to me that's not that important, as long as it works. So in order to power the LED lights on these, you've got to plug it in through the USB. And then it's also got the 3.5 millimeter. And to adjust these, you just slide like so. And this material is just plastic, but I think you probably already guessed it wasn't gonna be metal or something higher quality, which I think I'm fine with. Then it's got a real nice thick padding on the headband that sort of feels like memory foam. So now let's take a look at the Onikuma gaming headset K5. So just like the G2000, this has a 50 millimeter driver. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. It comes with a user guide. which is mostly just a lot of other languages. Now the nice thing about this one is it gives you a list of which ones will work with audio and microphone. Okay, so for the headset itself, so the materials are somewhat similar to the G2000. Instead of putting glossy plastic everywhere, they've got a nice matte finish here to break things up. A little bit cooler shape, I think. But I think just adding in the matte plastic with the glossy makes it just seem a little bit more premium. For some reason, the material for the ear cups doesn't seem quite as thick as the G2000. But I won't know that for sure until I test these out. On the left hand side, you've got your folding mic. It doesn't feel like there's little grooves where it locks in at every position. But the nice thing is, it's pretty firm in every position. It's not gonna move that easy. And on the top, you get a real thick piece of what feels like memory foam. So that definitely feels like it's gonna be comfortable. Then to adjust the sizes, just like the G2000, 
Except this one actually seems to have a real thin piece of metal on the top of the plastic. So that might make it just a little bit more durable. So it looks like Onikuma went one step further and not only gave you a 3.5 millimeter and the USB to power the LED lights, but they also give you a Y adapter to use for a PC. The LED lights on the Onikuma K5 isn't quite as flashy. You just got one on the mic and then one on each side. And the inline controls are pretty similar to the G2000 where you've got your volume wheel and you've got your on and off switch if you want to mute the mic. So now that we've got most of the basic stuff out of the way, now let's get to the fun part where I get to play some games and test these out. Okay, so I've got a game going in the background and my dog keeps whining because he's hungry. But I thought I would go ahead and do this voiceover to see if you can hear that stuff going on in the background. This part of my voiceover is actually being done with the Onikuma K5 mic. Okay, so now that I've used the Onikuma K5 and the Version Tech G2000 for about a week, this is what I've learned. To my surprise, you can actually get a decent gaming headset for less than $25. Especially if you're just starting out with gaming or if you're thinking of getting your first gaming headset but don't want to spend a lot of money until you figure out what features you need to have. Okay, so I still have the TV going in the background and unfortunately my dog is still hungry. So hopefully you can't hear that stuff in the background as I'm recording because this part of my voiceover is being done with the Virgin Tech G2000 mic. Both of these headsets do block out outside noises fairly decent, even though they aren't noise canceling. But when it comes to audio and how good these two headsets sound, I feel the Onikuma K5 has just a hair more bass than the G2000, which is usually a win for me because I like a little more bass. However, even though the Onikuma advertises that it has 7.1 surround sound, I found myself in certain games like Fortnite hearing more details such as footsteps that were far away using the version tech G2000. And for that reason alone, I give the slight edge to the version tech G2000. To me, I feel one of the most important parts of a gaming headset is how comfortable they are. And after playing for several hours this week to test these out, I thought for sure the clear winner would be the Virgin Tech G2000, but I was wrong. These two are pretty much identical. They both were okay for an hour or two, but then would get a little too warm for my liking. However, if you've used the Turtle Beach Recon 200 and thought those were comfortable, these are just as good or better in my opinion. So when comparing these two headsets on how comfortable they are, it's actually a tie. This final part of my voiceover is being done with the Virgin Tech G2000. Since these two headsets are so close in how comfortable they are, and even in sound quality, I think it's going to come down to cosmetic preferences. For me, I like the matte gray look of the Onikuma K5s a little bit better, but I like the LED lights and the more detailed in-game sound you get from the Virgin Tech G2000. So even though both of these are a good choice for beginners, if I had to pick only one of these, I would pick the Virgin Tech G2000. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you haven't already. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.